And we are live on Facebook. Hi, everybody. It's Jeanette Martin of My BC Consulting, also known out there in the industry as Move Your Bum Chum Consulting. And today it's one o'clock Pacific Standard Time. So it's time for another Where in the World Is dot 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 a W5 story session. It's where I gather people from around the world that either I know a little bit, know a lot, and ask them the questions of who, what, where, when, and why. And so we can know a little bit more about them. So today, I'm going to start off with who are you? Hi, I'm Raylene Castle. <laughs> that was and, a good, easy question. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. So when I say who are you, so what are some, say some of the who hats that you wear in life? Um, I am a mom. I have two um, kids, 18 and 20, two sons. I live in Aldergrove for the last 15 years. So I'm an Aldergrovian. I am an employment consultant. Yeah. Oh. A nature enthusiast. You know what's something I learned right away? I live in the same area that you do. We're we're Alder Grovians. Is that I, know, I don't know if that's right. I either. like that. <laughs> I think I'm going to get a business card and go, hi, I'm Jeanette. I'm an Alder, Alder Grovian. Um, so let's take a cup. The next question is, so what do you do, say, with your kids now that they're teenagers? And what do you do as a business, somebody in um, your a business? And what's the name of your business again? Um, well, I'm an employment consultant. That's the hat that I wear for Inclusion Langley Society. Okay. Yeah. So um, with my kids, being that they're older, we have um, our dog, Ellie Barkins, and we often go out into um, the local parks. So like Alder Grove Park, Campbell Valley Park, and uh, walk the dog and meet other dog owners and enjoy nature. There's, there's such commonality in um, pet owners, especially mm -hmm. dog owners when you get out. There's, there's an underlying... Um, yeah kind of relationship that's already built when you're dog owner to dog owner so what are some of the things when you say an employment uh counselor what are some of the things you do in that role so some of the things i do are meeting people like you because that's how we met at a networking event uh, so go, going out and uh, letting people know kind of like what we're doing today uh letting people know that we even exist. So we help people with diverse abilities find employment in the community. So it's just uh, letting people know what we do and then learning about what businesses needs are. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, that's in, cool. In a nutshell. So where is Inclusion Langley Society located? Our Partners in Employment office is in the downtown Langley City. Um, but we work out in the community. So we have our clients come to our office when we're getting to know them. And so we'll um, get to know what their skills, interests, abilities are, help them build a resume, cover letter, that kind of thing, and then help them connect with businesses. So, but once they get employment, we go to wherever they're working and we help support them on their job site until the um, new employee is comfortable doing their tasks independently and the business is comfortable that they're working to company standards and then we fade out um, and we continue to check in and monitor to ensure continued success. So going a little bit deeper into that where, uh, are you able to do these consultations via Zoom or is it in person? And where is Langley in this big blue marble? Because I have people from all over the world. So Ooh. someone may be watching going, I want to contact Raylene. So where is Langley? So Langley is about an hour east of Vancouver in okay. British Columbia, Canada. Perfect. <laughs> so now are you able to help people via Zoom or do they need to come in in person? To a certain extent, um, as long as they're willing to, like we can help with the looking for the job part over Zoom, but there has okay. to be an understanding that once employment is secured, that they will be willing to go on the job site. So, yeah. Okay, that's good, good to know. And when did you decide to want to get into this? This is such a, a niche type <laughs> uh, job, Raylene. It is, and it took, yeah, it took a little bit of a tunnel to get here because I, uh, when I left high school, I got a diploma in social services. So okay. I was working in the field. Um, I stayed at home with my kids went for a little while. And then when I decided to go back to work, I decided to change it up and did a career discovery course that led me to employment counseling. So I found a a practitioner course and I took that that then led me to looking for a practicum and I did one at Inclusion Langley Society and I've been here for 13 years. Oh, well, I, 
I didn't know it was that long. So let's ask the when question is how long or like when did Inclusion Langley Society form? Like how long has it been around? Okay, that's been around for a long time and I don't have my my information. I'm going to add a link (laughs) so that people can check out um, that site. Yeah, absolutely. But I want to say we just had an anniversary, 60 years. Oh my, it's been a oh long my time. gosh. Yeah, oh, yeah. So it's had generations and generations Absolutely. and generations of people going through um, uh, through your programs. And uh, yeah, well, and- employment services are, is only one service that um, Inclusion oh. Language Society provides. So they also, we service um, basically from birth to, to death. So mm-hmm. as children with special needs have um, needs that need to be met, we service that. And we have... Um, inclusions or community inclusion sites we have residential group homes um we've got a variety of services yeah so definitely if you know anybody that has some kind of challenge um developmental disability then check out the website because we probably have a service for you Uh, that's incredible it's almost like i should have done a w5 story on inclusion langley but it's always about (laughs) yeah we always do first of all human to human because you may pick up the phone and look or look at the website and stuff but you still deal with humans so raylene my last question (laughs) why do you do what you do what's your why in life to help people i love to help people that is my passion and uh i just i know that people with disabilities have abilities as well and I want to look past what the challenges are and look for the solutions and I just love putting puzzle pieces together right so it's like okay you like this and you're good at this and oh over here there's a business and they have this need and you guys are going to go great together (laughs) so I feel like I'm a little bit of a bridge and that is what I like to do is connect businesses to a labor market that they potentially didn't even know existed and find a success. I love that. Yesterday I was having a conversation with my brother and saying that this is the way I think what you guys have been doing for 60 years is teaching a society and how to live with, live with and collaborate and um, appreciate. Yeah, that's the word I want to appreciate people with all different sorts of abilities. So then it helps to teach the general population on how to behave and how to um, make sure that we are honoring each other's abilities. Because I know even as a, I'm going to say able bodied person, there's certain things that I don't know how to do. And I reach out to other people to be able to help me to be the best version of myself. So Thank you so much, Raylene. Again, I've met Raylene in person a couple of times in my community of Langley. We're going to have to cross paths, I'm sure, in Aldergrove now. Um, if, if, um, if you want to reach out to, uh, or no, I love that word when, when you want to reach out to Raylene, uh, we'll make sure in the comments, she'll put a link so that you can ask a few more questions. And maybe you are a business in the Langley area that could, you know, Align, align with somebody that's looking for a job to come in and help your business um, shine a little bit brighter. So again, thank you, Raylene. Um, I will be back next Monday again at one o'clock Pacific Standard Time, asking somebody else who, what, where, when, and why. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Thanks, Jeanette.